The levels are correct. The saloon doors are, are open. open. The saloon doors are so open. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> oh <my>. <laughs> <laughs> Who it. does the saloon have a crush on? <laughs> Must not have seen that. Movie. Oh, I miss that show. That's, Why is uh, that gone? That? Uh, it's a podcast. It's uh, the Thrilling Adventure Hour. Sparks oh. Nevada, Marshall on Mars. Actually, I got the DVD at the podcast festival. Oh, really? And that's the episode. The episode where the saloon doors. Oh, are in love with Croach. Saloon. Yeah. Oh, where, where she. If you could part with that for just a little while, I would love to borrow that because I want to watch great. it. It's great. It's amazing. If he, he probably won't let me borrow it, it's probably something. That's, no, I'll never get I this might. back. I don't know. See, <laughs> see. He ain't gonna let me borrow it. And it has right. some good special features too. I know, but it's I would got love an episode to see of, them uh, do it live. Yeah, well, and it's got uh, it's Sparks Nevada, and then it's got uh, Beyond Belief. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, two segments, well, and see, then the special back, features. There's a Captain Laser. I beam. went back and started listening to Beyond Belief. Yeah, I because, love Beyond Belief. Just because Belief. I was like, I've listened to all the Sparks, getting yeah. the shakes. I need something else. So. Yeah, right. Yeah, and actually, I, and Moonshine Holler is probably like my third favorite. Yeah, I didn't like Moonshine Hollow too much. Yeah, I I listened to Captor, um, uh, Philip Phantom. Oh, Philip Phantom. And I yeah, listened to I that like one some. Yeah, well, and oh he's, gosh, we're getting wait. We need to right. start the episode. Okay, <laughs> <let's just laughs> <start>. <laughs> we'll sit here and talk about. This the is an advertisement hour. for some other podcast. Well, yeah, really. no shit. If you guys don't know, uh, listeners, uh, check out well, the Thrilling Adventure Hour if you've yeah. missed right, okay. it. It's great. Right. Anyway, we're gonna actually start the episode now. Yep. Welcome to Scrambled Brains. Welcome to Scramble Rage Words Cast. I'm Matt Clements. I'm Nikki Powell. And I'm Will Runyon Jr. It's 107, right? 107? Yes. yes. Or post Halloween. Post Halloween. What'd you guys do for Halloween? I worked. Well, uh, took the boys all out. All night? Not all night, but most of the day. Yeah, he was he was out of shape, Matt Murdock. Hey, <laughs> Don't give a right. fuck, Matt. Well, I, th- I like to think that's what Daredevil wears around the house. Oh, like he's like, he I'm them. feeling Daredevil-y today, but I don't want to go out and fight the kingpin. So he like puts on a Daredevil t-shirt and red sweatpants. And he's just a redneck Daredevil. <laughs> just, uh... <laughs> Did you well, hand out candy a... at the library? Yes, but nobody came in. It uh... was it was pretty. I showed monster movies all day, all day, oh. Friday and Saturday. I showed all almost every single well, classic Universal monster movie, and like eight people showed up. Yeah. Um, Thursday night. Wait, when was what a fucking waste? <laughs> Halloween was Saturday night. I didn't right? know about that. So Friday <laughs> night, uh, me and the oldest watched Evil Dead and Evil Dead Two, mm. which were on sale at Walmart and Target for five bucks a piece. I had oh. to get them. You know, anything on the discs with them? Any uh, the uh, the Evil Dead Two is the twenty fifth anniversary edition, so I'm sure there's extras. Nice. So, I don't know. I have them the right Blu-ray. now. So I'll, yeah, yeah. So. I will because uh, I want and to. And I'll tell you, it I've was, never seen Evil Dead Two. So oh, I hadn't see seen it. it. I've only seen it in like decades. But here's the deal: I was right. It's a reboot of one. Yeah. Except, except <laughs> if if you don't watch the first ten minutes, it fits right in with the Evil Dead. Where it comes through the house and scares him, and then yeah, yeah, but, but the, it like kind of just skips over all the part where everybody gets killed, doesn't it? it yeah, it, it's, it's like just him and, and his girlfriend. girlfriend. Yeah, the rest of the people don't show up. Yeah, and then like the hillbillies Even show though, up, and yeah. I mean, are we gonna just go ahead and talk about Ash versus Evil? Yes, Dead? let's work up to do? it though. Right. But are we but, gonna try to not spoil this, or are we gonna no, just tell it's people? Just, just tell people fucking fast forward for the next half hour because, no, because we're going to spoil the shit out of this. By the time right. this comes out, it'll be another two, three days. If you haven't seen it, shame on you. You need to stop. watch it by Just now. Just stop listening anyway, right now. Go watch he, it. I will post a oh. link. There is a website. You can watch it for free there online. So oh, stop well, right Watch it now. before you listen Hit to the pause, episode. There you go. go watch it, then come back. We will post an illegal link. Don't. To the... I don't think no, it's this illegal. Is legal. It's legal. Oh, it's it's... Le- oh, so Stars released it? Yeah. Stars. So. Oh, I'm sure this is going to be one of those like top illegally downloaded shows well, of all time. Well, because it's freaking awesome. But here's the deal. Evil Dead 2. Okay, real quick. Premise of Evil Dead. Uh, five friends, two couples, and a sister go to a cabin in the woods that they got really cheap. They don't know why. <laughs> for the weekend. <laughs> they find a cellar. It's got a, a tape recorder and an evil book in it. 
uh, they play the the tape or they that's a reel to reel. They play now. Do you it. think somebody set that up for them to do that? No, I think they're see that's because the thing. The you tape never recorders there with it on it. You mm-hmm. never do Why find out, and it's that? rewound. Also, yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Or well, I think in the first movie that somebody's like playing with the tape, so they probably rewound it to listen. I can't. But remember. It's, it's, possible. it's there. Why would you do that? Right. But they they play the passages that awake an evil spirit in the woods. Because the guy actually reads like the Latin chants from the yes, book from this evil bound in skin human, human skin and book. Ink yeah. and human blood. <clears throat> but uh, friends end up getting possessed. They die, you know they're killed one by one. Ash is the last one. Uh, the sun comes up. He goes outside, and then this presence goes through the back of the house, comes to the front. It, you know, comes up behind him. He screams, "It's over!" Yeah. Okay. Evil Dead Two starts off. Re- redoes the whole first movie. Kind of like, oh, here's a quick recap. I don't know if they just didn't want to hire more people or what, but now it's just Ash and his girlfriend who went to the cabin, mm-hmm. played the recorder. She gets possessed. He kills her. Right. Then they replay the scene where the presence goes through the house, scares him, like forces him, like like knocks him into a tree, knocks him out. Now, here's the deal. When he comes to and he crawls out of this mud puddle he's in, he's got all the damage that was done to him in the first movie yeah. that wasn't done to him in the second movie. <laughs> so you could splice it and actually make it work. Right. And then more people show up and they die. And it's, but um, and then he ends up getting sucked into a vortex, vortex. and going into a Medieval. army of darkness. Yeah. yeah. Which, Which I I, I've seen that one. Um, Which but, is sort of medieval uh, but it's it's you can see Ash slowly losing his mind. I mean, this whole yeah. thing just drives him nuts. Right. Because in the first movie, he's just the biggest pussy you ever met. His and name then by is the, Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> Ash is short for Ashley. Ashley. Let's yeah. just make him tougher, like boy named Sue. Yeah. So, I don't think it did. And by the end of the second movie, he's just pretty much off his damn rocker. Right. He's not. There's that great scene. I love the well, that's scene the progression where he starts from Ashley to Ash. where everything starts like the uh, the the head mounted on the wall starts yeah, laughing the, the, the at him or the deer heads and laughing. He starts like rocking and he just starts laughing and then every, everything goes silent and yeah, it's a and the camera like does this thing like it rotates over him. It's a amazing cam- it's a a, a beautiful shot. Now, is that and the first really, one? Is that the, I can't it's, remember. It's two. It's the okay, second I was gonna one. Say, I was like, That's how like did he do that on a shoestring where budget? His mind, he loses his mind, basically. And Evil Dead 2, I'm sure they had now, more money and built a track. Like many yeah. movies from the early 80s through 90s even, it's not filmed or it's not made for high definition yeah. stuff. The second one almost looks like it was filmed on a high school stage. <laughs> I mean, it's just because you only see certain angles. You only, see, you know, it almost looks like it's on a sound stage. Yeah. Um, real quick after that, uh, Halloween night, me and the boys, they finally got to watch Fright Night. The oh, original. Fright Night! Yeah. Of course, being an '80s movie, I had to make them turn their heads at the the, the boob scene. Oh, you know, was that one, one boob scene? Scenes. But outside of that, yeah, I think I was actually, I was probably five or six when I first when I saw it. I saw it at the drive-in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't, all Brewster, I remember is the very so last cool. scene. I can't stand. It. No. You're so <laughs> That's cool. right out Brewster. of Fright Night. Yeah, I don't remember. Evil. That's the only time I've ever seen it. Oh, it's really? It's, it's, a, yeah. it's a classic. Oh it's a modern I love classic. Fright Night. I so. just remember it ends with the like the curtains get pulled off the window or something, right? And the guy they're like, in the basement. And he's throwing into, stuff at the, okay. the painted, he's painted over window, the cellar window. Okay. So yeah, so yeah, letting the light in, and it's a dramatic death scene at the end. Okay, so real hash. You know, we went over the Evil Dead. Ash versus the Evil Dead. <laughs> well, now, no. now, let's be honest. I watched Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2. They were eh, all right. You know, for what they were, shoestring budget kind of things. Eh. Uh oh. But fighting words over there. But Ash and the Evil uh, versus the Evil Dead. Oh. Hilarious. Such a work of art. <laughs> it is. It's, so much. There, there's gore. There's funny. There's Ash being Ash. It is just yes. absolutely. A joy, an yeah. absolute joy it to w- watch. It really, yeah. I was a little concerned, actually. the The trailer was amazing. I thought that when we watched that first clip, I was like, "Oh no, they're kind of going. It's get, they, they're going a little too far on the silly side." I thought, like that first four minutes or whatever we watched oh, last week. But that was one okay but, uh, for people who've seen it, you know, or we'll go. Well, we it, told it, them to go yeah. and watch it. So it's thirty it years later. It, Ash is living in a travel trailer. 
Which is something Ash yeah, would do. Yeah, the first scene he's putting on his girdle, he's putting it, or he's putting his teeth in. Yeah. Or no, I guess he doesn't do that till later. No, he puts his. Yeah. No, he's putting he's, cologne on his girdle. Out of a high, he's drinking a high C fruit box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. box, which is so great. It's so and, then, uh, and jamming the space trucker. Like I yeah. said at, at last pack, because this is what every guy would do if there weren't a women in the world. This would be how it was. Would and be. and what other movie? I know this was from another movie. He, he he's missing a hand because he had to cut it off in Evil Dead Two. Right. He grabs a mannequin hand and it's black. <laughs> what other movie was that? Where it's like, I got you a new hand, man. It's a black hand. <laughs> that was, what was oh, that? Uh, that was a mo- what fucking movie? It, but was it was that? a mannequin hand, and he had him, but cool. I got you a new hand. Well, he, it was, it was uh, Italian uh, rosewood, though. You know, yes, he actually, yes, it was okay. Was so it was movie, actually. There's a movie I saw where it was somebody got killed. It was Dylan Dog. Where his his part his oh. friend got killed and he got him a black cane arm uh, because no. he yeah because he's a zombie. Everyone. Dylan Dog, right. yeah, uh, his, his, his buddy dies. He's like, Why is my arm black? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's he's like, well, I got to explain some things to you. <laughs> anyway, so he goes to this bar because he's a zombie. Well, no, no Ash doesn't. Go no, to no, the no, bar no, no, no. In Dylan Dog, oh, yeah, yeah we're, I was talking about Dylan. Ash goes to this bar, walks in. First thing he does is take this uh, uh, the. Uh, Dart oh, off yeah. the wall, doesn't even look. Chucks it at the misses wall, it misses completely. it by like six inches. The whole dartboard doesn't right. even come close. I love it that the guy goes, "We're closing in ten minutes," and he's like, "Yeah, I know." <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. Well, he's got a strategy. Obviously, he's yeah, there he's, to he's, pick up somebody at last call. You know, mm-hmm. and, and he, he does. does. Yeah. And he's in the bat. He, he gives us all. So he only saved this poor child from. A train and lost, his, lost hand. his hand. Yeah, right. So he's in the bathroom. I'm not nailing kidding. this chick from behind. This old barmaid looking, mm-hmm. or I get what's the word? Uh, barfly. This yeah. barfly looking girl. But she's, she's not, not as ugly as she's yeah. Hollywood ugly barfly. Yeah, yeah. not because she's not actually all that. Unattractive. He's he's slapping her ass with the wooden hand, and he and saying you like my wood. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty funny. And of course, Matt loves the hey, hey, I'm getting a little winded. <laughs> yeah, because that's so yeah. me. I'm like, hey, I'm getting a little winded. How about we work on me for a while? <laughs> right, which is a good line. <laughs> right. she, she goes, hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming, screaming. Which of course the boys had to leave the room again. Oh yeah, 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 I remember this. <laughs> she yeah. turns her head and she's a dead eye. She mm-hmm. goes, we're coming for you. He right. freaks out and jumps back. That, but that's where the trailer ends. Yes, mm-hmm. and yeah, the but the episode. Okay, continues. so he jumps back. She's back to normal. She's like, what? What's wrong? I was almost there. Was almost he's like, uh, uh, and he's looking around. He's all nervous. She goes, well, can we finish up? And he goes, yeah. And he's 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 so riding funny. her, but he's looking he's around like looking nervous. over his yeah. shoulders. <laughs> he's freaking out. She's like going, oh, oh, oh. And he's like, eh. Yeah, he's, 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 people he's, not, he's, he's not as coming. into it. And yeah. then he drives home that and way. he's all nervous. Yeah, he's singing, uh, come on, space trucker. <laughs> yeah. And he says, something that hasn't happened for 30 years just happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, or he just... Yeah, so I like that it's also it's the same timeline. You yeah, know, he's aged, you know, long. Yeah. yeah, it's not like it was last summer. You know, he's 22, supposedly. Right. But what I was going to say is, so up to that point, it was it was all Ash... And yes. it was all Ash being, uh, he was just being a, a, a goon. And yeah. A, uh, yeah. And uh, I would say at this point he's being Ash. <laughs> he's being, a- yeah, it's establishing the character and more than any of the movies did, I think. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it was, it was, you know, he's, he's a buffoon, you know, it was, it was, it's mostly just kind of silly with a little, little scare at the end. But I think that scene, I, I, what I loved about it is it, it has that great comedy stuff. But it like the horror stuff, like the scene with the cops at the house, that whole thing, that was like straight horror. Yeah. Like, and it was actual, you know, it, it was scary. And that was and a creepy, good scene, too. That was, yes. um, you know, it was a great combination. It was I, like really well balanced. The I cop think. the next day is just like going, well, I don't know what I'm going to do and all this other stuff. Yeah. Okay. First of all, she took a, a pair of scissors yeah. through, through the, the hand. hand. Yeah. Okay. So that's fucked up enough. She blew her partner's head off. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So I think it takes a little bit more she's than I just need to. She's not it at all. She's just sort of like sitting in there in the in this diner going, <laughs> well, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I've got to pass a EVAT, yeah, and i got to pass a psychological institution if yeah. that happened to me. Well, not only that, it's like I think she's a little tough. bit more happens 
to a cop, you know, it's a, well, I got to pass a, you know, psyche valve. No, you blew your partner's head off. I think a little <laughs> bit more would happen to you. But she mentioned a homicide investigation. Yes. Also, so. But, um, so Ash gets to the house. He's looking for the book to make sure the book's still there. He's, he's got it in a damn, here's the most evil thing in the world. And he's we got it a in whole a, discussion a, a, on how we would get rid of this book. <laughs> yeah. and keeping it in like a shoebox in your trailer is not. Oh, it was a we, trunk. And that was, was something. Trunk. Okay. At the end of the first Evil Dead, the yeah. book burned. That's no, how he defeated yeah, the Evil Dead. Yeah, at the Dead. end of the first one. But he got it back but in got, Army of Darkness. But yeah. it rebooted in okay, the second. I, I didn't remember, yeah, what happened to the in book. In the second movie, it was never, They actually they filmed they filmed a scene where he burns the book, and they cut it out. Okay, yeah. So in the second movie, he never burned the book. See, I thought the way he got it back was in Army of Darkness. He went back in time, mm, and, and it was it. there, and he brought it forward with him again. But That's... then he would never have had it in the cabin in the first place. I don't want, well, this yeah, is tiny me. Tiny <laughs> shit. But, but he, he, he looks, he's got the but book. But if he never had it in the cabin, he wouldn't have ever traveled back in, in time, time to get it. Exactly. The, the Necro he left Comic-Con. it for himself so he would preserve the timeline. And he's holding, he's looking at this book, this evil, nasty book, and there's there's a, a Ziploc baggie. It's like a bookmark. He's <laughs> That's like, so great. What, what is this? And he pulls it out, and it's pot. Yeah. And he has the a flashback. Pot. We, yeah. It's not a full baggie. We've yeah. finished this. Yeah. Right. It's got he, a couple of roaches in it. He has a flashback. Of where it's him and some French chick in his trailer getting drunk and stoned, mm -hmm. and she shows on it shows on her wrist that she's got some French writing done. And yeah, it's poetry. 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 Yeah. And he I was, don't oh. think she was French. I thought it was just French poetry. Oh, I, don't well, know, I thought she had a. Accent. I don't know. It doesn't matter. She dies. No, but anyway. So he, he goes, "Oh, you think that's I, cool? I got much. something." And he pulls up this book. And Matt makes a comment, or as we're watching this, that not only did he keep the translation, yeah, but exactly he how wrote it out how to pronounce it. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, are you a fucking moron? Wait, did that happen in Army of? He had to recite like some stuff. Oh no, and he never he got it right. It down. No, no right. because he did the Baradu. Yeah. Well, that could have, those, those were probably notes left over from but the original the, guy that translated. But it. you never saw those in the book. But that's no, what that's what the tape recorder so was for. Funny. Yeah. That he had it, the, he yeah. had the word, and then he had it phonetically spelled out. <laughs> right. to make sure you know, think so they like, took turns reciting. I'm because, like, what the like, but, but think of it this way: this was directed by Sam Raimi. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You already know he can't pronounce shit for anything. If you watch Army of Darkness, he can't pronounce anything. He can't memorize anything. Yeah. So he has to have it spelled out. But why out would you do that, that when you knew what it would do? <laughs> or anybody could find it. Yeah. Like what the hell? So anyway, uh, so then it cuts back to him holding the book. The 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 pot's falling on the ground. He's like, "Fuck!" <laughs> he's just like, I just about fell on the floor. I was laughing so hard when he goes, "Fuck!" Because he he raised the the evil dead again. Right. The pot. Well, that's what happens when you get high and you have the book of the damned in your trailer <laughs> with you. So so he runs. You encase that in concrete. Keep throw that in the ocean. Case. So his whole plan is to to get to work, get his check, and get the hell out of town because yeah. the dead's are coming. And yeah. they always. Yeah. And that's his. Yeah, he's not a hero. He actually he even says he's not a hero. He's, uh, he just wants to run away. Yeah, try to I'm, escape. Yeah. Yeah, he's been he's been running from it for thirty years. And then the second biggest laugh next to fuck is when he his okay. boss, when he gets the light bulbs. Okay, hold up. He gets to work. Yes. The boss won't let him go. He goes, and if you think I can't fire you just because you have seniority, okay, you're you're right. <laughs> yeah, so that so really that means too. Ash has been there longer than anybody, but he's still. S it's not S smart. I noticed it's bad that. U -mart. So I wonder if was there like something between Kmart? Like, oh, did they I like say it's no too idea. obvious? Well, or, I, I figure it's just because he's on the road. He's, yeah. he's I, at this running. point, I'm surprised Kmart doesn't just let them put Kmart in right, there for yeah. the good for publicity because they need it. So so Ash has been there that. for quite a while, and he's still mm. a stock boy because right. you know he's Ash. And the guy goes, "Okay, take this. This box is probably what three, four foot tall. I, it's by two foot. I just take like, these light yeah, bulbs. So. And for some reason, and yes, it's a hilarious gag. He picks up the box, puts it over his shoulder. It's open. Somehow they're loosely. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a box full of loose light, light bulbs. bulbs. Yeah, no, this is what it was the second funniest thing. Whenever he's like, they all fall. And yeah, they like all fall out. And he, goes, and like, <laughs> he goes and gets a broom. I just right. And, and there's like TVs. Bulbs. 
there's something, there's boxes stacked up on a pallet, and he starts sweeping it under the pallet. Right. No. It, was a, it was perfect. It was a total, oh like, I know that Sam Raimi, I believe I've heard him, in, and, and Bruce Campbell are both, like, uh, uh, Three Stooges fans. Oh, yeah. And oh, it, was yeah, it felt spot like. Spot on Three Stooges gag. Maybe he great. should have directed that movie, that Three Stooges movie, <laughs> instead of the guy, yeah. oh, which turned out so bad. Yeah. Oh, but, that would have. But, but it was so when he shushed the the light bulbs. Yeah. I yeah. And then he's like s- walking across them, stepping <laughs> on them. Yeah. And also sweeping them under the pallet. Was great. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. But, and then, uh, yeah. Then this is when we meet Paco. Young Paco. co-worker comes over to assist. Which Paco has a secret. Because it's like you know, hey man, I've seen a lot of stuff coming up from Guatemala. Guatemala? I thought you were from Indiana or something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, Indiana. Right. <laughs> That's where I'm from. And Paco's an interesting character because he's really quick to believe. Wait, it's Pablo. It's Pablo. Pablo. Is it Pablo yeah, or Paco? I, I don't know. I think he calls Okay, it's Pablo. I well, think, I think I, his I, name's I, Pablo, but I think that Ash calls him Paco. I would believe point. it. Yeah, I believe he would probably miss. Um, it's Pablo, yeah. yeah. It's one of those ones where he's like, listen, Paco. And he's like, Pablo, whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But he is really prone to believe that Ash is this, like, chosen fighter of well, evil. Just, he, I don't know where What, what happens from. is Ash goes in the back. And of course, as soon as he puts up this nearly empty box down of non-existent light bulbs now, the boss goes, hey, get those damn light bulbs back out here. And he's like, uh, okay. <laughs> he walks by this display. Or it's, it's yeah, well, the, the lights go out. Yeah, the lights mm-hmm. go out. Yeah. He walks by these these dolls. And he thinks one moves. So, of course, they do the, he walks by, he turns the corner, and his head pops out from the side. Right. <laughs> like, oh. this, and this is very reminiscent of Evil Dead 2 with yes. the whole hand attacking him thing. Yeah, he, he looks really close to one of these little, like, Cupid doll-looking things, and it leaps out of the package. Right. Now, I the love little this, thing I, attacking a little person. I love this person scene, thing. but this CGI is, is hard. It's yeah, not, it's not It's horrible. not great. But it's funny. It's right. Because he's like, I mean, <laughs> The, the doll's like latched onto his face. Well, she's got him by what do you call this part of the nose? Oh, the pretty much yeah, right between your nostrils. Isn't yeah. it the septum? Yeah, she's got like a death mm. grip on his septum right. on one hand. She's punching him in the face and like biting him. Right. Yeah, and, and again, liked... another great slapstick gag when he grabs the flower, the flower pot, pot <laughs> smashing so himself in the face because she's on his face. Yeah. <laughs> I just I love the whole like I said the CG and then she gets a box. Cutter. Yeah, he, she, he <laughs> finally gets her off. And she lands next to a box cutter. And, of course, and being Ash, the- being Ash, he mocks her. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 what are you going to do so now? Great. She picks up this box cutter, and he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> and then Pablo comes in and saves the day. Yeah, he smashes yeah. her with, with a shovel and a lot of blood. Yes. <laughs> I don't know yeah. where all the blood came from right. inside Which the occurred- doll. I, yeah. Uh- yeah, that, I, I, yeah, I had the thought, like, well, I guess when it turned into a deadite, it, it, uh, it has, now it has blood in it for yeah. some reason. Yeah, I don't. I never. I was like, "Where'd the blood come from?" And this is where we get the quick backstory of the Evil Dead and the Evil Dead Two. Right, and, and actually, it, that was a really cool effect. I love the way they did the, the real box. Yeah, yeah. Yes. that was. I I thought that was really cool. I of liked course, it too. It the first artistic. scene where he talks about we found you know the the Necrocomicon, Evil Dead Two. It turned all my friends, Evil Dead One, mm-hmm. and my yeah, girlfriend. Yeah, he mentions his friends. <laughs> yes, so and my girlfriend Dead, Linda, yeah. which was from Evil Dead Two. Yeah. <laughs> It, yeah, it's but weird. Though, he like, completely left out the Army of Darkness. Yeah, part. yeah, I did notice Cause, that. Cause and he, then it sent me back in time. You know? Yeah, he, he didn't want to seem like a totally crazy fucker. Yeah, no. <laughs> I went through time. That, and... Time travel, that's unbelievable. Right. <laughs> I, I read from a book and an evil doll tried to just kill me. But, that that That's believable, but I traveled back in time. But I'm glad Raimi saw in retrospect him losing all of his friends and his sister. One of them was his sister. <laughs> oh, right. Mm-hmm. True. To this. Oh, yeah. She was the first one. She was yeah. the one that was drawing stuff, right? Yeah, because she was the only one that called him Ashley. Everyone else called him Ash. And we're like, only because his would sister you really want to be called Ashley? I mean, right. that's. I bet you that annoyed the shit out of him his entire <laughs> life. Why do you keep calling me that? Please call me Ash like everybody else does. Ugh. <laughs> uh, and this is what I'm talking about. This is when he's all like, "Yeah, you you gotta face this. You gotta do this." You know, and like, he starts talking. He's in the, the El Jefe. Is that what he calls yeah, him? Yeah. yeah. You know, his his, his his uncle was a witch doctor. A brojo. You know, a brojo. Yeah. And told him of you know a great man that would come rise yeah. up and fight evil. And of course, then Ash is like, "Fuck that!" And he yep, jumps in his car and drives off. <laughs> yeah. Over over the the the. Uh, 
what's it called? Oh. The, the the parking stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So fuck it. <laughs> in Sam, even in be the car. To put it in reverse. In Sam's car too. Yeah. I love that he's still driving it too after thirty years. I know. Years. Well, he couldn't. This isn't. It can't be the original. Right. Because I, I, that I, ended up in back in time, didn't it? Well, no. Car? This is what happens. Hmm. Evil Dead One. Nothing happens to the car. Evil Dead 2, he tries to escape. They do the hole where he drives to the bridge, and the bridge is out. Right. Mm-hmm. He drives it back, runs it into a tree, and goes through the windshield. The people that show up later are driving the exact same car, <laughs> which ends up going back in time with him, which lands, like, what, out of nowhere and just demolishes when it hits. Right. So that's yeah, but not it had the, the original. Yeah, but it had the encyclopedias in the trunk, which is what they needed to make gunpowder and all the other crazy <laughs> shit that happened in that movie. Because, you know... <laughs> Now, now here's, uh, you want to talk about a Three Stooges moment. I'm sorry to get back on this. Where, what, did the chainsaw, was the chainsaw in the car? How did he get, did he have it in Army of Darkness? Yeah, he it? already had it attached to his hand. Okay, oh, yeah, that's, that's from, right. right. That's where the, the they made him the medieval armored yeah. hand in Army of Darkness. That's Sam right. Raimi, you want to talk about Three Stooges shit. And it wasn't supposed to be funny. I guess you weren't really supposed to notice it. This, uh, the guy who translated the book is supposed to meet his daughter at the cabin. So she's getting off a plane. She's been met by her boyfriend. They go up to the car. Now, this is an old, what was it, like a galaxy or something? I can't car? remember what it was. I don't know what it is. is it, it's not a nomad, is it? I don't know. But let's note? say it's... the trunk is probably no more than, you want to say, two foot deep, if that. They take this big-ass trunk and just go, whoop, <laughs> like that. It's like, load it into the car. <laughs> you know? and it's like, how in the hell did that fit in there? There's no way, you know. It's like. Don't don't question it. <laughs> it's, just, it's there. It's just okay. It's a it's a 1973 Oldsmobile Delta 88. There you go, the old Delta. An Oldsmobile 88. That's what that is. <laughs> Delta oh my 88. gosh. Well, it can't be an 88 because he had it in 81. Right. Well, it, no, it's they called him oh, an 88. Yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's I knew somebody that had an 80 in Oldsmobile okay. 88. All right. But it was in the 80s, not the 70s. So. Okay. But anyway, back to the uh, we do meet. What was the girl's name? Uh, Ash in. Uh, oh, what is Armor her in, name? I don't know, but it's really funny. I'm, I'm really her. worried because he meets her at. She's the new worker at uh, Value Mart. Yeah. And of course, he comes on to her, and of course, this does align. He goes, "Hey, I'm leaving town, and I know at some point you would think about it." I don't even know who you are. Yeah, I don't know, you but you know. Goes, She's yeah, a good foil for him. Yeah, really. I'm I almost like worried that at some point they're going to kill Ash off and she'll be the new Ash. The new Ash. It occurred to me that that that's actually probably what I would do. <laughs> no, because he can't be. Yeah, he can't be the one forever. Yeah, he I, can. I, He's the one, not the one right now. He's the one. I don't know. I think it, they should. That'd be a good twist for him to die and pass it on. I no, mean, I don't there'll never be a, anybody that could carry it. On it's like Bruce him Campbell. Anymore. Who else yeah. can do that? Okay, her name is Kelly. Kelly, yes. Yeah, I don't know. And her yeah, mother died you know what six been, uh, months ago. If it was, she was really going to be the next one, her name would have been Ashley. Yeah, or oh, something. Yeah. But so she could have been Ash. Yeah. So we get to the point. He gets to his trailer. He's trying to get the hell out of Dodge, and these these two show up trying to talk him into you know being the guy, right? And what happened? Well, happens? no. What oh. happens is is he talk she. She calls his her dad. Her dad calls her, and like her dead mother has come back from the dead and yes. is in the house with her father. Yeah, so she's she like wants facetiming him, or he's facetiming, like sending her live video of her like dead a mother Skype returning or to something. The house. I don't know. Which he must have a selfie stick because there's no way he's holding this at arm's length the whole. Time. <laughs> well, it's, maybe, but that was, but and that was Ted Raimi, I believe, right? That was her I, dad. You know oh. what? Look at I don't know. But yeah, I'm I didn't sure. even. So yeah, even so they go to get Ash. Ash is getting the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, and that's when the Deadites attack. Mm-hmm. So in order to save his friends, you know he you know gets all. Yeah, I love it when he grabs her belt and he's like, "I'm gonna need this." Well, he grabs the girl, he pulls her close, and goes, "I'm mm-hmm. gonna need this," and 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 twirls her away like a top because he's taking her belt and he uses it to put the harness on. And then he becomes apps from bumbling idiot to badass. Yeah. And yes. He's like kicks a thing and a shotgun comes up and he's like, "That was behind. not okay." I okay. could have swore that was him. I didn't, you know, no. I. But it's not okay. I, I would have noticed him because he was in all the Spider-Man movies. Right. Yeah, oh. I thought he looked just like him. But the thing is. 
there there is a cool scene where you know the deadites are attacking. He hits the secret button in the floor, and a shotgun, what two three foot yeah. long shotgun, pops out of the floor. Well, it's the shotgun. Yeah, yeah. the right. shotgun, shot which of course means that the engine. bottom of the trailer has to be. <laughs> yeah, if he was gonna haul the trailer, he would have had to like because he clearly has a spring loaded box underneath Neither. the floor. <laughs> yeah, and if you hit a speed bump, it's you're gonna lose your shotgun. <laughs> but I think more interesting, well, is that. He rigged this up. Uh, I mean, you know, apparently he's ready to move on. He was never expecting to have to fight the evil But he was dead ready again. for it. He was but ready for it. He, yeah. Also, when he gets to the trailer, uh, once he realizes he's going to have to fight, he pulls off his Value Mart uh, shirt to his reveal blue. his blue ash shirt. Yeah, his the ash shirt. Like uh, the classic. He grabs uh, a grabs an axe off the wall, and there's an outline. He's got yes. a Yeah, oh, that's perfect. Right. I love the outline. Like, this is where the axe is stored. So it's like, yeah, I think it's it, that's a funny kind of surreal, you know. I know. I loved it. Everything moment. about yeah. this was just. It was, uh, yeah, yeah. Hitting on all cylinders. And just I, the world is, I love that they just went for it with this, like, just all. You know, like Sam Raimi, he's been doing such all this crazy, like huge stuff for so long, but it's like he hasn't lost this like sense. You mean of he didn't George magic Lucas and it. wonder? He didn't lose it. He didn't <laughs> yeah. lose touch with what made his movies great. Right. It's so exciting he that can he come can back still and do it. Do that, like, like I mean, it's it's like lowbrow, uh, like I don't know what it, it's, uh, but it, it seems like a lot of times, yeah. So many directors just once they feel like they're beyond it or something. Well, he yeah. says he wants another crack at Spider-Man, and I'm yeah. more than willing to let him have now, it. Now, the yeah. one thing that I I kind of missed that they didn't do, which was cool in Ar- uh, Evil Dead 2, is when he gets his chainsaw, and I know it would totally restrict movement. He he rigs it to where the pull string is on is attached to his. Oh yeah. So, so all he's got to do is pull his arm. It, it's attached yeah. to the vest. Yeah, I remember arm. that. Yeah. So. Yes. Yes. I, yeah. But there, there was a scene after Which he kills all the deadites. The girl comes up to him. He goes, "Who are you? You're so different." He goes, "See, I told you you'd cross your mind." Yeah, I, but see, yeah. we loosen the whole thing where the landlady comes out. He see you see the chainsaw. He like opens up this door, and then there's another no, it's a carton, carton, and there's oh, like yeah. holy light shining, and you can see the chainsaw. Which I don't know. It had to be rear illuminated, so I have no idea how you're yeah. seeing it. Right, but again, yeah, it's like enshrined. And it's like, <laughs> and it's great because he jumps. Uh, Pablo kicks it across. It flies through the air, and he jumps and click, click, and then lands on his feet. He's like full body, length, full length body, and then lands on his feet right. <laughs> within like what three feet? Four yeah, feet. he didn't jump that far. <laughs> yeah, but it it was. I mean, a lot of blood. Oh, uh, it was great. Yeah, it he was cuts good. The, the head off. It's so great. Yeah, and she just falls. Loses all oh, momentum yeah, after, after right. he beheads her. <laughs> I would have liked it better if he'd gone right down the middle. Uh-oh. Like, he'd gone, yeah. like, instead of cutting her head well, off. Well, they got a budget. Right. Yeah. You know, they can't do full body old lady. They gotta... That would have been great. And then the two halves hit the back of the the cat, or the, the trailer and fell. That would have been awesome. Uh-huh. But, oh, well, so... Uh, if like once again, go see it or watch it on. Yes, Stars, watch it. Go watch it. I'm posting good. it. I'm posting a link to the full episode, which is available for free, and it's not like pirated or anything. If you're concerned about that sort yes. of thing, um, yeah, Stars is doing a total solid actually, putting this online. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Well, they're really pushing they're handling it. it really well. They I'm are. Pushing... Well, Stars is pretty awesome. I had Stars for a year. We got it for free. And uh, they're a lot better. We had HBO for a long time, and their stars was better than HBO. Oh yeah. So, um, real quick, since we're on, you know, Deadites, The Evil Dead, Walking Dead last night. Oh, yep. good segue. If I nothing else, enjoyed it. If nothing else, pissed everybody off because it was a backstory. Yeah. Here it is. <laughs> one one of the most beloved characters supposedly dies. I did see it. I did get to watch the episode, and to, to tell Matt why I think he didn't die. Here, let me get a prop here. A prop. Okay. What it is. Prop comedy doesn't work on an audio I know, podcast. I know, but I'm, just so you get the. <laughs> right. What it is, these two guys are on top of a dumpster. Yes. One guy chicken shits out, goes, thank you, and blows his head off. Yeah, I've he heard He turns this. like this, bumps into the other guy. They both fall, fall. into the whole horde of zombies. Now, the angle you see, all the, like, these zombies ripping stuff, and you see an organ. It's the guy It looks top. like this. Yeah. You know. yeah. <laughs> it's you the dude, tell there's something on top of him. See, this yeah. is my theory that they're eating the guy on top. Yeah. They're going to get to him, but then something happens. 
the actor, and I don't know if he did this or or Walking. They posted, I think, on Walking Dead. I come. It shows him like he where he's, the actor Glenn is leaving an interview, and he's flipping you off with both hands. He's like, "I'm not dead yet, fuckers," or something like that. But then this week, so you're going, oh, God, what happened to Glenn? What happened to Glenn? No, they're not going to And it's you. like, oh, yeah, here's this guy's backstory real quick, this other character, <laughs> and we'll tell you why. That you don't care about. Well, you care, and it was a good story. Yeah, but that's not what you wanted to see. But that's not what you wanted to see. Actually, I enjoy. I liked it. I thought it was refreshing. Yeah. Uh, and and actually, it kind of it's interesting to me, uh, you know, because I watch a lot of shows. This seems to be the theme of the week. Last week, the theme was families that are criminals, uh, families of criminals. <laughs> yep. But, uh, and this week, it's a uh, backstory, uh, like desaturated backstory, um, uh, single characters. Uh, was uh, yeah, Walking Dead. This was Morgan, yep. which I thought it was a really interesting story. I liked the character, the other character. I wish that he was a more significant character. The guy yeah. who trained him. Who or, Yeah, like he met, out, who kind of yeah. changed his life. Uh, but then uh, in Angels of Shield, they had Gemma, the uh, one of the scientists. Uh, like there's there was Fitz and Simmons, you know, those yeah, two young Simmons. scientist people. She so gets uh, teleported to another planet, right? Like and you don't last know what season, yeah, and you don't know what happens to her for six months. And everybody assumes she's dead, except for Fitz, who is in love with her, and he's struggling, you know, trying to find her. They rescue her. It's been like three or four episodes, and now and they're she's telling not you. the same. And she's like, I got to get back there, and you know, and she's doing weird stuff. And then finally, they show the backstory in this episode. Well, yeah, what's happened to her? Like, for here's all why. These six months. Which again, so. it's this is probably my favorite episode of the season <laughs> for uh, Ages right. of Shield too. So, so, see, I don't watch it. Oh, I did do so. some uh, very, very. For you was asking last episode about Lash. And what's oh. the story with Lash? Pretty much exactly what you see on Shield. Oh, okay. Uh, the the yeah. the mess, the Terrigen mess, gets out into the public. A lot of people are changed. He's going around and killing the people he think is un he thinks is unfit or unworthy mm. of the change. Okay. So it's exactly so like there's what some you're girl out there some... waiting for her quinceanera, who gets killed because she doesn't get to become a woman because she doesn't go through the change. Uh -huh. uh, oh, that took a lot. That took a long yeah. time to get to that, yeah, and I'm did. sorry. I will not make that joke again. Real quick, Flash was decent last week. Uh, you didn't get to see the Flash till the end. It was the Firestorm story. Oh yeah, about getting the new yeah. part of the Firestorm. That was actually a pretty good episode. Yeah, it was. Uh, this week, uh, I was telling Matt the other day the one Shark thing Man. Oh uh, yeah, King, King, King Shark. Shark. King Shark, actually a character. Although um, you knew that like they hid, we got they got we got to save our budget because we got King Shark. We can't show him the whole episode, so we're just gonna show him at the end. Would you? Would you? What was a good payoff? Because at first you thought because she, uh, the the forensic girl says, "Hey, I found this huge shark tooth," mm -hmm. you know, and you're like, "Oh, it's just a uh, Easter egg. That's cute," you know. But they actually showed a full. King oh, I know. Shark. But what gets me is they keep referring to Ebon Thawne as Wells. Wells killed He's my not, mom. Well, Wells, see, I don't you know it wasn't him. Yeah. You know? Anytime in any show that's like, well, we thought he was Ebon Jack. Thawne killed the real Wells. The real Wells apparently yes. was not a bad guy. No. Right. And once you know this, they saw him change. And I even saw a clip, you know, where they're showing, you know, the Earth 2 Wells is talking or whatever. And, and it's like, Barry's like, this is the man, or he looks like the man that stabbed my mother in the chest. No, he looked nothing like that when he stabbed your mom in the chest. No, because he hadn't even taken, had he not yeah. even become Wells yet? No, he hadn't even become Wells. But the thing is, in any movie or something, I can understand where they go, well, we thought you were this character, and you turned out to be that character. And then every so often they'll call him by the wrong name. Yeah, Wells. I mean, I mean, Thawne, you know, did this. It wasn't right. Wells. But they keep saying Wells. Wells did this. Wells did that. The poor bastard's been dead 15 years. Leave him out yeah, of Yeah, I know. They found his body, didn't <laughs> yeah, they? Right? Yeah. <laughs> they found his body. The poor guy's been dead. I, yeah, it's... He didn't do shit. Sully that memory. Yeah, no kidding. Right. Now, well, he they, was framed for crimes him. he didn't commit. It's like, this bastard did it. Yeah. Well, wait, you know what, but... Like, he was like Barry's hero, right? Yeah. As Barry was growing up. So, well, really, Thawne was his hero because Barry was too young to well, have known no, I don't the real think, Wells, right? I don't think, I think, I don't know about hero. He followed his work. Yeah, I thought he was like his favorite scientist oh, because of all been. the, that's why he wanted to go. Oh, uh, let's see. Wait, did he, he didn't actually go he to Star Labs. He started Star Labs in the 90s. 
let's see, let's say Barry's in his twenties. Well, he got like you said, he got he he took Thawne's place after he killed Barry's mom. Yeah. So even a few but months he, later, but they had conceived of the Star Labs in that flashback. Yeah, he hadn't. Had he not started it yet, though? No, they, they hadn't started start it. Yet. it. Yeah. So. And and when he when he killed Wells, he said, "In fifteen years, you're going to start a or no, it was like in twenty something years in twenty twenty, you're going to create a particle accelerator. I need it to happen a little bit sooner than that." And that's when he took over and fat. Yeah. Him. So, that's right, because he needed it to happen quicker. Yeah. So he could get home. Now, I did notice something interesting. Jay lost. Oh. Well, mm-hmm. Jay come to Earth one. He lost his speed. Yes. Doesn't know why it's gone. Yeah. Remember when Thawn come back to this time, he, he had just enough speed. speed to fight, you know, fight in, in the house. And then he lost it. Yeah. He has no idea how or why. Oh, do you think they could find that recharging device they used for uh, wells? And they get... used it on uh, the professor oh, right, for the stabilizing. Because the yeah, they're talking that's... about they could make it in the cane. Yeah, that's right. yeah. I didn't oh. get it. I guess that cane was absorbing the energy, right? Or some, they're was? stabilizing him somehow. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, I was like, why is he building the cane? I'm, I'm pretty sure what's going to happen. So he could walk around. But yeah. Then it was like, oh, it's a glowy cane. All but right. by the time it comes to the the mid season or end of season, where you know it's Flash versus Zoom. Zoom. Jay will get his his power back and be able to save the day or save him. Well, or something. See, I kind of thought that was how they're going to give him his power back, but now that you right, you're right about Stein, but he doesn't need it anymore. Do you think they maybe could change it back into what it was? Uh, reverse, and reverse, because, reverse, reverse engineer, reverse, reverse the reverse engineering. Yeah, exactly. But no. because they just it didn't have any energy left, but it draw it drew it from the speed force, didn't it? From Barry, wasn't that what was going on? It was mm-hmm. no, no, it was tachyons. Oh really? Because oh, remember yes, he yes. stole it earlier. Okay, and used the tachyon. That's so why it was so much faster. From the other lab, yeah, that lady that runs the other lab. Oh, that's right. Where they were working doing Which tachyon was, research. He showed up and stole stuff from there again. Yes. Well, in no, the episode. new one. We don't know what yeah, it is. Yeah, the, the, the Earth two, two wells. So, yes. so but, that poor woman just gets shit stolen constantly. All these right. fucking she, wells and all the fifty-two wells. and wells are gonna come in here and steal my shit. She needs okay. better security. <laughs> uh, she should just go up to her security and goes, you see this guy, you shoot him. Don't yeah, let him be here. Because right. this guy keeps stealing my stuff. I'd be putting cameras up a quarter mile away. <laughs> With Harrison doing. Wells' face uh, yes. recognition technology. This right. fucker comes anywhere close. Uh, since we're on superheroes, uh, Great American Heroes getting rebooted <laughs> for TV. Now, I, I, I hate to show my age. Matt, you were born in? 1980. 1980. Hey, well, me too. Okay, but you I guys, was January. Older. Okay, yeah. you guys were. What like, year? What month were you born in? October. Oh, happy birthday! Thanks. So you guys were a little over a year old when Greatest American mm-hmm. Hero first hit. It was my favorite show as a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even make it to tot. Well, I guess three. It was three seasons. So I don't know. I've I never remember, seen a single episode of it. I it remember watching William Katz and shitting myself. It, that was last week when I put in the DVD. Well, even then, you know, it was good the first couple episodes, and then it started getting stale. Mm. Some of a bitch made me scared to death of water for years. <laughs> Why? Because I can't. I do not remember the entire episode. But what it was it was something about like the Loch Ness monster, and they mm. they it was like a Scooby Doo episode. They proved there was no Loch Ness monster. Blah blah blah. At the end, yeah, because masks, magical suits from aliens yeah. that give you superpowers. Plausible. But Loch Ness Monster, end, ridiculous. Yeah. At the end, they're on a boat and they're talking. Ha 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 ha. You know, this was funny. And then you see something like looking up, and you see they made like a Loch Ness, like a head, and it's slowly coming up and peeking <laughs> over the water. And that must have scared me shitless oh, because really? for years I couldn't. Now, the plot like, of The Greatest okay. American Heroes, as I yes. said, aliens give. Is it by accident that he gets okay, the suit? Okay, here's the deal. I hope so. He was in the he wrong place at the wrong time. Mm-hmm. The aliens come down to give somebody a super suit, gave it to the wrong guy. Uh, as he's taking it. Samuel L. Jackson, and he's like, where's my oh. super suit? As he's walking away, he's like in the middle of the day. As he's walking away, he drops the instruction booklet. Oh, okay. So he gets home, he's got this super suit. It wouldn't have been and written in English anyway. And can't They're figure aliens. out. Well, I'm sure they translated it for him. And couldn't figure out. 
how to use it. So it's all trial and error. Do you think it's like yeah. one of those instruction Great. booklets I now where it's, it's in Spanish premise. and French and English? <laughs> Yeah, he's like, flipping one. Alienies, alienies. No, ah, you English, know what? There we go. You know what? That that that's what he needs to do. He's gonna go, son of a bitch, I can't. And then go, oh, flip it over <laughs> and turn it upside down. Yes. It's the English. It's a great moment, right? Hopefully, they wrote that into the, the new episode. That would be hilarious. But it's because he doesn't know what he can do, and he never. I don't know if he ever masters flying, because right. there's a scene, and I remember this part. There's a scene where he's in a in an alley and he's trying to he's like jumping up and down yeah and his kid comes in and was like what the hell are you doing I'm, I, I'm trying to fly it's like no no three steps one two three jump he goes oh okay okay so he tries he goes one two three ah! and he's he's more or less as as he's going he screams right as he's flying through there and he always crash lands he yeah. never figures out how to land i've seen clips of that he's always like kind of tumbling through the air yeah. right it's like flailing his limbs yeah he has no idea what he's doing you know huh. so well, that it, reminds me of supergirl not the flailing but the uh the flying, learning to fly thing. I oh, watched the Supergirl. cape was did for. You guys watch the, it? Yes, they explain. I didn't why watch Supergirl. There's a reason that they have capes. It helps with the wind drag and and steering yeah, and whatnot. Which and doesn't make any sense because their flying it's isn't based on aerodynamics. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's not. Uh, it. That did great apparently in the ratings. A lot I, of people, I enjoyed it. I thought the Rocketeer makes more sense that he has a big fan of fit yes. on his helmet because that, yeah, you, you look where you want to turn. I loved that detail. I thought that was. Great I love that, I was, that like, whole movie. Is amazing. <laughs> Well, it's the same thing with with the uh, Iron Man. Instead of he's got rocket boots and he can just fly wherever he wants to, in the movies he's got to stabilize with himself the with the repulsor in his hand, right? Yeah. Which, Which yeah, actually that that's what cool. they were for, and he modified them into weapons. Yeah, right. Yeah. So but, right. Well, so I mean, what did you think? I know you haven't been looking forward to Supergirl, really. I watched it a couple months ago. <laughs> oh, okay. It was one of those perfectly like legally I he said, did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I said, it's you could tell it was supposed to be on the CW. It was almost like a, I don't want to say sex. What was another? Not Sex in the City, but what was another big well, girl goes to the big city to make it good, and she just happens to be Supergirl. Right. Well, yeah, but I mean that's basically what's happened with Superman too. But it's the same. The, the, it's uh, a the recycled Mary Tyler premise. Moore show. Yeah. <laughs> now, but another show. But like Candy kept saying, Calista Flockhart is the the boss. Yeah. She basically is Meryl Streep from The Devil Wears Prada. That's what Candy kept. <laughs> oh yeah, she's but the she bitch boss. But she does it very well. Like she was yeah. actually a really fun character. I thought. Uh, well, you know, she's been living with Harrison Ford for. Yeah. Which of course in the in the uh, in the comics, Cat Grant is the Daily Planet's. Gossip columnist. Okay. She's not like the leader of the whole No. Thing. Female movement, no. And or, I mean the whole paper. Like, oh, the whole she's paper. Like the owner no. of the yeah, paper the whole, in this one. There is a great scene in the comics I almost wish they would do, but Fluss Flockhart don't have the rack for it. Supergirl meets Cat Grant. Cat Grant's scrawny and she's got huge breast implants. Oh, I know what this and, is. And and yeah. she's like, Why do you keep staring at me? She goes, There's some weird things in your chest. Like she's oh, using x ray yeah. she can't figure out what's in her chest. Mm. It's like, excuse yeah. me? Yeah. But, but I, they even threw in, did you notice they threw in this, well, shouldn't she be called Superwoman? Right. You yeah, know? that was in the trailer. Well, yeah. that she, like the cat Grant, Grant yes. named her Supergirl, and the next day Supergirl comes in and says, you can't call her Supergirl, why not Superwoman? And yeah, which I thought was, a, and then Cat says, yeah, actually, I thought she had a pretty good response about, you know, like, what well, I'm a girl, you're a girl. Yeah. You know, I think if you don't like the word girl. Now, even though they put that the problem, in for an explanation, it. women's groups still were up in arms. They were still mad that this show is called Supergirl and not Superwoman. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, sorry, that's the name of the character. You yeah. know, they're not going to change Batman to Bat Person. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Or Super Person. It's Super Person. It's super Person. Yeah. Super person fighting for truth, I justice, there is a super person and equal there rights for yeah. all yeah. men and women, and no discrimination and unisex bathrooms. Mm. Nope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it depends on what the American way is at the time. Disguised as mild mannered Clark Kent, who makes no more than his female counterparts. <laughs> <laughs> Transgender Clark Kent. <laughs> anyway, justice. <laughs> Justice in all forms. But uh, mm -hmm. did it look good? Um, yeah. This week, which hopefully by the time this airs, you guys, hopefully everyone had seen it, uh, Constantine on Arrow. I haven't seen yes. it. Which looks good. Well, it's on Wednesday. 
Oh yeah, I gotta so, work. I gotta work late on Wednesday, so yeah. I don't. So I'm kind of like that's what's kept me from watching Arrow, even though I have a yeah. DVR. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> kind of. I'm not really that into Arrow. I've not missed season. an episode of Gotham, even though we record every Monday yeah. night. But you know, which that's I'm told is great. Arrow. My kids are my my Gotham? oldest son is just talking about. Oh, Gotham's, Gotham's getting good. pretty good. Really, I thought this last episode was the worst of the season. Really? With Firefly. Yeah, I thought it was really lame and boring. Oh, it opened a lot of doors, though. Did it? Yeah. I don't um, know. Do we talk so. about Gotham? Because we could spoil Gotham. There was some. I mean, really, well, it's okay. It's not maybe. There's certain things that are inter- they're yeah, I mean, it's still interesting what it, they're doing, but just some of the choices they made, like the whole the whole fire thing. You know, it's cool to have a character with a flamethrower. Now, is it Firefly or Firebug? I firefly. think they, they kept calling firefly. her Firefly. Yeah, yeah, I think Firefly. Yeah. There was a Firebug, I think. No, yeah. no, it was always Firefly. Which, you know, the first appearance, I believe it was, no, no, it was the first uh, uh, character that Batgirl ever fought was Firefly. Oh, huh. really? Hmm. Yes, because he kidnapped Bruce Wayne. And Barbara Gordon was at a costume party dressed as Batman, uh, so to speak, and then tried to save Bruce, or save Bruce Wayne dressed in this like costume. Like Spider-Man shows up at a Halloween costume dressed as Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, or uh, who was that? Uh, man, Walter White. Uh, didn't didn't he go to Comic Con dressed in a mask? Of yeah, he had a Walter White. Yeah, mask on the, yeah. The, the um, uh, what was his name? Jay. But Cranston, Brian, Brian Cranston. Cranston. Yeah. And what's the one line that's always said when that happens? That's the worst Spider-Man, Spider-Man costume, costume I've, I've ever right. seen. <laughs> right. But they bring uh, the, the, the the actual episode. Nah, it's a little bit of character development for Selena Kyle. She doesn't trust cops now. Whatever. But the Which big payoff in the first place for me right? or butlers is <laughs> yeah because because a butler will Slap smack a bitch. Shit out of you. <laughs> um. Is this what is it? Indian Hill. What is the thing? Yes, Indian the Hill. Indian Hill, which was exciting. That was interesting that's to me. That how was they the only bring thing. Jerome back. <laughs> they that's because they thought she was dead too. Right. They mm-hmm. they it ends with them like these two orderlies, exposition uh, masters. This uh, total carding. stupid thing with yeah, it's fused to her skin. Now her skin's fireproof. Right. What? Hey, everybody Man. thought she was dead, but now we're bringing her down I here. I know. To this secret underground and place like to experiment doing on Doing crazy her. experiments on people down in there. You know who that's introducing? Who? Hugo Strange. Oh, yeah. Now, guess who plays? P.D. Pla- Chang. P.D. Yep. Wang. P.D. Yeah. Chang. Isn't that a, that's a restaurant. So, uh, P.F. So, Chang. So is he oh. just like type, uh, typecast as fucked up scientist <laughs> Fucked up <now>? scientist, yes. <laughs> Evil, crazy scientist. <laughs> this is pretty much, if you want an evil, crazy scientist. That thinks he's smarter than everybody else. Let's get... But but yeah, my major complaint was the whole Beanie the Wong. whole fire thing. Not Chang. Oh, like man. they Ooh, acted like off. fire, like nobody has ever seen fire before. You know, it's like everybody. Well, it's like She's oh, it's fire. a flamethrower. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can't shoot through fire. Uh, and <laughs> Don't also, melt the bullets. There's the whole thing where it's like there's this whole like apparent I don't know whatever slavery ring or sex slaves yeah. or whatever they are. They're selling women at this place, and Catwoman and Firefly or fire. Yeah, Firefly, Firefly yeah. drop in and, you know, take the stage and they're like, ah, you know, we're here to, you know, save the day. And everybody pulls out guns <laughs> until she like shoots flames into the air and then they all put their guns away <laughs> and they're sure like, OK, I guess you win. And yeah, uh, it's. It's, I was like, oh, come on, guys. Like, well, no, I guess but, maybe but, it's hard to. But let's do think of it this way. She's ever. got a flamethrower. Which means she has a fuel tank. Yes. And everybody knows one you stray bullet will well, blow everything down. Right, and that actually does end up happening. But but I just thought oh. it's like so lame. Yeah, sorry. It was so ridiculous. Spoilers. Appa- yeah. These are supposedly Spoilers. like hardened, you know, evil criminal just, types. Yeah. And they're like, oh, fire. I guess I'm not going to shoot at her. And then she comes back and sets them on fire anyway. Yep. Yeah. Um, at least one person. On oh, same. and Riddler killed his girlfriend. Yeah. yeah, that's what my son told me. He finally snapped and Riddler. Well, he admitted, which he shouldn't do. He admitted he killed her ex boyfriend. Right. Yeah. yeah he's not. Yeah. Well, he's he's kind of he misses some kind of social uh, cues. I think he doesn't understand well, yeah, how that works. 
Because she says stuff like, I feel like he's holding stuff back from me. I just wish he'd open up. He's just so trying to be honest, is, lady. I'm going to tell you about the boy that I killed you. And well, your boyfriend yeah, right, cut him up and burned him in While, acid. like, yeah. standing outside of your house watching you through your window. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, yeah. You, you, don't, you don't tell him that stuff. He was doing so good, too. Yep. And <laughs> he just fucked the whole thing up. Um, yeah. As we're on the topic, uh, the world premiere trailer of Preacher was last oh, night on Which was Walking really Dead. cool. Um, I thought. I've had some people, I've read some people weren't impressed, but it looks like, it's kind of like Ash and the Walking Dead. It looks like everything Evil that Dead. you, Evil Dead. <laughs> everything you see in that Preacher trailer was probably the in, within the first 30 minutes or hour of the first episode. Yeah. You know, they're not going to give you a long, but it did look good. I mean. It looks like, intense. I. Yeah. I never knew. I've seen the comics like all my life, but I've never read any of them. I always thought it had some kind of weird supernatural. I thought it was oh, like it a is. Constantine. Okay, it but is. the mo- this movie or the show, the trailer makes it look like it's he's a badass, but, but he's, a he's just a badass. You yeah. know, there's no like like weird apocalyptic. Yeah, it doesn't stuff have stuff happening. to do with like demons and all kinds Pretty of crazy much crap. What happens is God decides to go for a walkabout, or God just leaves heaven. He just says, "Fuck it, I'm out." Oh, he's God. He can do that if he wants. So someone in heaven chooses this guy to hunt down God, to find God, see what the hell's going on. They give him the power of kind of like the Purple Man, where he can control people to an extent. Now, the guy that was in the cell with him. Hell in the cell. Well, is a, a vampire. Ah. That's Cassidy. Oh, and you the, actually, like hillbilly kind of guy. Yeah, the hillbilly, he, but he's Irish. Okay. He, he had an Irish accent. Yeah. There's a scene where he's on a porch in the shade, and he sticks his hand out in the sun and catches fire. And he's just kind of looking at it. <laughs> but yeah, it's it was like a hundred and something issue run, but it was good. I mean, oh, it's yeah. going to have arse face. <laughs> they call, they call this kid arse face ah, because him. this kid tried to blow his head off. It failed miserably, and now his face looks like it. They've like an asshole. Looks like an asshole. <laughs> yeah. And he As will if be. He in didn't the... have enough reason to kill himself yes. before. And he will be in the show. They always, they never. It's always like when they talk, and they put the translation below. Yeah. <laughs> but he mm. will be in the show. Oh my gosh! Wow. So. Okay. Well, speaking of uh, new new shows, yep. I I heard I two things this week. One, apparently they're doing a Big Trouble in Little China remake, or they're starting to work We've on that. We've covered that. that. Have we? Kurt Dwayne Russell? The Rock Johnson. Yeah, and you know what Kurt Russell oh, said? Yeah, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> well, you know, I that I saw that headline. I When I read the article, they kind of took it out of context. Oh. He seemed to actually be saying good luck with that. Like, yeah, not, like I, not I, I want to see it. Yeah, okay. He was like, yeah, I guess, you know, things are with, you know, I, I hope they do a good job with it. You should know? have said, you know what Jack Burton says on the old Pork Chop Express? <laughs> Yeah, what he should have done. right. I, I when I read his quote, I read it in that voice. Uh, and then I just saw today they're working on a new Star Trek uh, series sure. for yeah. TV for TV. Yeah, because yep. they've been talking about that Star Trek three, the movie forever. Yeah. But apparently this is a TV thing. And I think the guy who was the guy did weren't they didn't they get the guy that did Jim? At one point, oh. wasn't he attached to it? Which, by the way, Jim, one of the worst bombs in cinematic yes. history. Yes. I mean, it's up there with uh, Last Action Hero. Oh, it's. I bet it's worse. Oh, I, the only yeah, thing I that would so. make it not as worse is they look like they spent like uh, $5 on an Applebee's gift card on making this movie. <laughs> well, it was $5 million, something like that, and it's still... Wow. And it's still $5 million is yeah. all it costs to make. Yeah. All right? There are guys who's like cars... Cost less than five million or more <laughs> right. than five million dollars. Well, there's like a whole like category of celebrities that won't do a movies for under like ten million. I know, like, yeah, you know, five million dollars the entire movie. The cast, cast, which person. makes me wonder what Juliet Lewis's price these days <laughs> is. Yeah, no. <laughs> Ten thousand and a bot and and a, and a pound of blow. Sure, yeah. whatever. Wait a minute, did I hear about an Applebee's gift card? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's so... Now, you know what's sad, and I'm glad they didn't go this way. I'm glad they didn't go, what was it, Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull, where there was toys and merchandising. Oh, yeah. I did see I was walking through Target today. Well, I think even Hasbro's like, whoa, what the fuck, we're going to lay off on this yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> they did have a Jim in the Hologram shirt. It just said Jim in the Hologram. But was it had... the old cartoon characters? No, no, it didn't show it. Okay. There was no characters. It just but said was Jim. it the old cartoon logo? I want to say yes. Yeah. So it because was bedazzled. The, the, and... Yeah. Uh, apparently it is like, I wish that this would get through to the, 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 the brains of Hollywood executives, that you take a property 
You change everything that's fundamental mm-hmm. about it because you think that's what people want, and it fails miserably. Or to make it make it you know more accessible to today's you, youth. You keep a property, make it as faithful as you can while adapting it. Say white, kind of what Marvel's doing, yeah. and it's huge box office successes. Yeah. The problem is, is there is one gigantic glaring thing <laughs> that tells them they can do that, and that's motherfucking Transformers, Transformers. <laughs> and Ninja Turtles to a slightly smaller, slightly degree. smaller yeah. degree. Yep. Uh, kind of breaking news: Ash and the Evil Dead gets second season renewal already I before heard, before yeah. the it first yeah aired. before the first one yeah. even aired. There's oh, so, of so course. good. Well, yeah, it yeah, got so much s- probably got such good press that they're like, we got to capitalize on this now. Before these people realize what a hit we got and ask for more money. Well, Walking Dead's renewed for a seventh season. Like, we didn't see that coming. Of course, that's a, that's a uh, behemoth. Yeah. Yep. Can't, it, yeah. It'll have to so. die. F- it'll have to have two or three terrible seasons before they'll cancel it. Yeah. This, uh, oh, and real quick, uh, James Bond news. Uh, not much news, but we do have a fight clip with uh, Dave Batista. Oh. So we'll have to watch it. I, I am looking forward to that movie, Something Fierce. When, I, real quick, when did Star Wars come out? December 18th. Son of a bitch. Here. I know I'm jumping around a little bit. My plan was I win movie tickets every month mm-hmm. off the radio. These movie tickets are always good for at least two months. Mm-hmm. Like, I always get them and go, holy shit, I can watch something in February with these things. I get them. I want them October twenty second, which usually means like they're good till Christmas. I get. I pick them up today. They're good till December seventeenth. <laughs> My mother, f- I knew it. They are having an early showing at seven thirty. I'm sure this one won't count because don't they have to be like a Probably week old? No special yeah, screenings or yeah, something no, like yeah. that. Yeah, December seventeenth is they're having the first screening of Star Wars. Have that you got your tickets yet? Sold no, out, right? I'm going to. When I, I go. Sc- to James Bond on November 6th. I'm going to buy also buy my tickets for the Force Well, Awakens. you might want to watch it because I was talking to a well, guy if I work it, with. If I don't give it on at 7.30, I'll go to the 9 o'clock. I don't care. And uh, he's got family in Springfield that says Springfield sold out Yeah, yeah. for the first few so- showings. And so. if I have to go on Saturday, i got to go on Saturday. It's just I'll have to stay away from the internet. <laughs> Did you see a thing? And this may have been a joke. I just saw this today. Apparently a, there's a new theory going around. I don't know how, like I said, I don't know how serious yeah. it is that Jar Jar Binks oh. may be making an appearance. No, no. That he was like a, a a plant, like he is like, he was a Sith, he was like a Jedi trained That is bullshit. Sith. No, no. Uh, it, yeah, it may have been a joke. No, I don't the big, know. The big may running, have been a joke. <laughs> the big running one now is that Luke is the, the Sith that yeah, you Yeah, we talked about that last right. week. Uh, yeah, no, I no, no someone I, did. I like that theory. The, 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 the internet. During the the trailer, after the trailer, the whole internet was like, "Where's Luke Skywalker? Where's Luke Skywalker?" Right. Well, someone I don't did post essential either. to the plot. Yes. That it's well, the search for Luke someone Skywalker. redid the trailer and put Luke Skywalker in every scene <laughs> of the the trailer. So so, and uh, this is how hard up I'm going to switch gears to now. Okay. Great. How hard up the net is for new Spider Man movie news? You know what made the news? Guy gets a haircut. Guy gets a haircut. Oh, Tom I Holland saw that. got yeah. a haircut, yeah. and they're saying it looks like the the haircut oh. that that uh, Peter Parker is sporting in Ultimate um, Spider Man. Ultimate Spider Man, the cartoon. He, Maybe he uh, just wants to. He, he like dyed like, and cut well, his hair. It, it and that's, does, and that's kind of the, I, the look he has in it Ultimate Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm okay with it. He looks more like Peter Parker now than he did before. Yeah. So. I still like the other guy that was up for it. Better. I, I want the slick back with the two little curls. Oh yeah, <laughs> they, they, they come together. The little like upside down devil horns he they had. Like, well, they look like mandibles from a spider, right? Yeah, That's yeah like idea, he's got it? yeah. Because you know, Stan and you know, that was uh, all during the Ross Andrew was doing that. Oh, I think. was it? Yeah, I, I mean, it's like you know, Kurt, well, I guess Kirby just had where he slicked his hair back. Kirby, was, I don't think Kirby. Or not Kirby. Dicko, Dicko. Yeah, Dicko was always slicked back. And then let's see. Because um, I don't think Ramita took over. Yeah, I don't think that. Ditko or Kirby ever like got like a a, a book on hair. Some of the shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're just like dots, right? Didn't one of them do something where it's like cornrows? It was like yeah, like it was Norman Osborn. I'm mean, no, your hair <laughs> sideways cornrows. White yeah. man hair doesn't do that. <laughs> At no point in time was that ever stylish. No, I don't Sideways even know what cornrows. they were going for. Yeah. I guess waves. Is, I, I don't know. It's a wavy maybe. red hair. That, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Who knows? But, but that's been the, that's the iconic look. I don't know how you would. They didn't even try to make. They didn't even sit Willem Dafoe down and go like, let's try to make that work. 
All right, uh, to derail things a little okay. bit, well, why uh, not? sports news. I'm nope. going to throw a few oh, little sports yeah. items out here. The uh, Cardinals all, didn't win. Yeah, yeah, Cardinals lost. That's the big well, story, in, yeah, which I don't in. care about because I'm a Royals fan. Fuck you. And I've stuck <laughs> by them through all the shitty years. And they finally which there were many. Many, many, many. 30. <laughs> there were, yes. Yeah, literally 30 <laughs> shitty years. They have, didn't even make it to the playoffs for 29 years until last year was the first time. In I don't know what that's years. like. I'm a Cardinals fan. It happens right. like every friggin' year. But they did it. They yeah, they won in five games. They they won the World Series last night. It was awesome. Like they came. It. I mean, I don't know. I, you guys probably didn't watch. I it or watched up to or... the 11th when it was two okay. two, and I just like, oh, this is gonna go no. all night. Fuck it. And right. I just turned it off. But uh, it was so. I mean, just uh, you know, if you're writing a, a baseball movie, you it's know, out. like the whole like coming from behind in the ninth inning, you know, tying it, going into extra innings, you know, I don't know. It's just it's a it was a beautiful story, and and that's just what they did. They were just they're so fun to watch. It, and I don't even I didn't even start watching until the playoffs. You know, I well, I mean, I, I catch a game role, here and there. I followed Royals them for thirty fans, you know, years, but, but I only watched during the playoffs. I, I mean, yeah, it, it, it might turn me into a baseball fan. It's like it's I really have started to appreciate the game. I used to like it when I was young. I love baseball. I watch baseball all the time. Yeah, I'm, I was pissed off I didn't get to watch it as much as I usually do because I was always working or doing something with my family, work and family. Fuck that shit. Yeah, you need to kick. <laughs> no, that I need to, to watch curve, some baseball. Man. I was Read some comics. Also, so the the Chiefs won in London. They played in London this week. Oh, there you go. And the but the most in, interesting Were they part playing the London sissy pants. No, what was they, going on? they played the Lions. There's oh, like I mean, thing, uh, sorry for all the the our NFL British has listeners. made this deal. Uh, oh, they play like two games a season in London. Uh, they're trying to they're build trying up to a get market it, uh, over there. And so was, what do they it call funny. it in London? They, I think they well, I think they, they call it uh, American football. American football is yeah. what they. But it was funny because the stands were filled with people wearing all different cut jerseys. It just it's like a like every football fan in London was there apparently and they they I don't think they knew what they just wanted were to see professional just, football. Yeah. American. But it was trying like, to get it to take. I don't think. Yeah, there was yeah, actually yeah. I remember like the baseball the, in Japan. the broadcast actually baseball focused Japan's on Baseball Japan's actually big. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh but they there was like a moment where they focused on this one person that was wearing like it was like a Packers hat <laughs> and like a uh like a, a Bengals scarf. And Are you sure Steelers that... jersey? Now get your ass whooped. Flag. <laughs> Are you sure yeah. this is not like in? You're confusing enthusiasm with confusion. <laughs> well, I don't yes. understand. What should I buy? Right. Oh, that's a pretty color. Put that on. There was obvious. Yeah, there was a oh, lot of confusion. Too. Oh, look, you this could this see it in their faces. As Harry Potter's no, I, I won't. I won't name the uh, the the radio host because yeah. But, Again, uh, sorry, our British listeners, for yeah. everything I'm saying. But uh, he used to work for the Royals, so he lived in Kansas City. Worked for the Royals. And uh, he had people calling in, talking about what Kansas City was like today. It's like, yeah, it's amazing. No one's flipped cars. Nothing's oh, yeah. on fire, yeah. you know. But he goes, it, when he lived there, it was back when they had a, I, who was it? He said it was the late 70s. Was it the Cubs? They had a big rivalry with, with hmm, or something the at Royals? the time. Yeah, the Royals. And oh, somebody, it wouldn't have been the Cubs. Cubs are National League. Oh, I don't know who it was. Though. But yeah. he said it's amazing, amazing. how in, a, in smaller a's towns. Like like Kansas City or smaller cities, that when your team does well, it affects everybody. Everybody's yeah. in a better mood. Everybody's a fan. Right. You know, you got that hometown. You know, we're we're right. doing it. We're taking it all the way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the okay one thing they about canceled. the Chiefs oh, game that I wanted right. to throw in here that was probably the, the most remarkable thing about the game, aside from them like destroying the the Lions, the English Lions, or what were no, we? it was oh, actually it was no, the Detroit, Detroit Lions. Lions. Oh, Detroit. They were both, okay, you know both. Uh, they wanted to play in a city that wasn't a burnt out husk, <laughs> so they went to London. <laughs> they went across, went across the world. Harsh, harsh. Oh, I know. I am not sorry to all our Detroit listeners. Right. It actually, yeah, Detroit no, looks like Detroit. London Anything looked like right Detroit. after World War II. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that's. Um, but no, uh, the the Lions just fired all their offensive coaching staff oh. and their new offensive coordinator. His name is Jim Bob Cooter. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a real name. <laughs> Why does no one take me seriously? Right, and it's like the week oh, they Jim just Bob. did it. Holy so shit. So do you go by Jim Bob or Cooter? <laughs> they kept saying, they said his full name every time. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, you better call me Mr. Cooter. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought they just did this this week before they went to England. And I'm like, that's the worst timing possible. How are we going to be taken seriously? 
uh, Mr. It, Mr. Jim Bob Cooter. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, it's yeah, it's that's the most it's never American like thing Jim ever. Jim Cooter, Jimmy Cooter. It's Jim Bob. They got to Jim, Jim Bob. Bob. Jim oh, Bob. oh, Jim Bob. <laughs> you know they had to put that twang in there, and uh, and coming onto the field is Jim Bob Cooter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wearing the the Bigfoot uh, cutoff shirt. <laughs> I mean, you know what? It would only be better is the if they sent in, well, with, from, from from BBC, yeah. we're sending in a, a reporter. Mr. Limey has here to see <laughs> you. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah. Or, or Benedict Cumberbatch. It'd be, it'd be yeah. Lord yeah. Limey the third. You know, that's, you know, it's, uh, Jim, B- it's, re- it's his real name. That is his name, yeah. It was great. Holy shit. <laughs> and you know there's going to be signs, we're here for Cooter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. Uh, yeah. Sci-Fi orders female lead Van Helsing TV series. Mm. Now, is it based on that Van Helsing with uh, Hugh Jackman, yeah. or is it, yeah. or is it just based on well, Van Helsing? I think it's just based on Van Helsing. So Could the, the character from that didn't do much, but like not understand how bland, mm. blood transfusions worked. Yeah, in the book. Oh, yeah. He, he basically is like. I don't know. Here, just give me your blood. We'll put it in her. Yeah, three, <laughs> yeah, three different right. men. And Let's then see. he's like, "Well, that didn't work, and she died." Grab that metal stake, uh, that stake, and slam that through that bitch's heart. <laughs> yeah. That's what that's what Van Helsing You're the did. Doctor. Right? Now I wanted to put this because I found it hilarious. And yes, <laughs> and this is the you know the, the, the dead tigger storage was was not off the cuff. They, they got a picture of Jason. He goes, oh, there she goes. I'm just gonna wait for that bitch to trip on nothing. Bitches always be tripping about nothing. <laughs> 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 You know, one of the greatest things I saw was this week. It's a picture. I think it's Eeyore and Winnie the Pooh. Uh, n- yes. Dressed up like the two guys from Pulp Fiction. Oh. And it's Piglet looking up at him. And he's like, does it have a sign in my yard that says Dead the Tigger, Tigger Storage? storage. <laughs> <laughs> it was Did he hold so the coffee great. mug? Yeah, he's holding the coffee yeah, mug. so nice. great. I am surprised <laughs> nobody has done that before now. I'm yeah. like. That is, yeah, that's very clever. <laughs> Uh, did you guys did make it to Lebanon story. this weekend? I did. Yeah. Luckily, I did not. All Luckily. right, we're going to talk about this. Let, okay, before I even talk about this, I want to commend them on trying something. Yeah, okay. we are at uh, an hour and ten minutes, just so you know. So, okay, well, I'll try to make this but brief. I, yeah, I wanted to say some I, stuff. I'll try to make it as brief as my trip to the Lebanon mm-hmm. Halloween Comic Con was, which was about ten minutes. Really? I, I was there for like two and a half hours. I I put in some time. You were there. Yeah, you stayed there. I talked so to a lot of people. So you know what I'm talking. I didn't talk to anybody. Oh, okay. Well, there's your because problem. I didn't care about Magic the Gathering. Oh yeah. So therefore, I have that. nothing to talk to these people. When about. were you there? Uh, Friday night around six thirty. Okay, I was there. Yeah, actually, I, I left right before that. Well, see, I, at least I would have ran into you. I probably would have stuck around a little longer had you been there. Yeah, I think I was there from like three to uh, like three I just, to five. I want to commend them. It's a good idea. I yeah. want a comic con in this area. Yes, but this didn't well, go great. Yeah, it's I I see Kansas City Comic Con was a good first attempt. Not great. Not great. I heard some about. I talked to a guy that was there. Did you talk to him, the artist? Uh, he was in the corner. Um, what uh, I have his name written down. I forgot. Uh, Brad Voth. No, I didn't talk to him. Okay. I talked to Michael Zex and Jim Shooter. No, no. I mean, at the Lebanon Comic Con. No, I didn't talk to him either. Okay. Well, I thought anyway. you meant Kansas City. Oh yeah. I was no. like, that's a good first effort. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's but it's not there yet. Right. This. I paid five dollars admission to find out that Freedom Comics has has gotten a new stock of Amazing Spider-Man that I don't have. Yeah. Something I could have found out for free by driving to Lebanon and going to their store. But it was worth it. No, oh, wait, because no, I guess that's that's. The point. I don't know if I want to name names. Let's just say there was one booth that had comics, but it was like more like these are like the comics you'd find at a garage sale. Yes. Like 90s shit that like nobody wants, mm-hmm. that's not bagged and boarded, that's just sort of shoved in there with no order whatsoever, and they go, hey, look, we have comics. Yeah. Then there was another booth who had good stuff that was insanely overpriced. <laughs> and they justified it by taking pictures of, like, 
hey, here's what a very fine or near mint condition of this same comic sold for on eBay, $300. Our price is 50 bucks. Look what a savings. Oh, the so problem is, is it looked like somebody wiped their ass with your copy. <laughs> so they're mid-Missouri comicsing it is what they're doing. Now, Here, let now, us see, look on the... Not, are you mean Missouri comics? Yeah, Missouri no, comics. No, worse than Missouri comics. Because at least Missouri comics, they shove their prices through the roof. But then if you use the discount co codes, it actually brings it down to a reasonable price. Okay. But that's the reason they shove their prices through the roof is to make you think you're saving money. You're not. You're just paying what you would pay for these comics. Yeah. Hmm. You know what I mean? That's that's their gimmick. They coals it. Coles, the department store Coles does that too. Right. They, they, they shoot the price through the roof, then say, well, it's 50% off. And women are going, oh, I'm saving 50%. No, you're not. Yeah. They doubled the price, then cut it in mm. half. That's yeah. what they did. And that's what Missouri Comics does. Hmm. I, I buy from them occasionally. It's which pretty good. Which is now Although, Florida Comics. Which is, should be Florida Comics because how are you Missouri Comics and you're in Tampa? But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but these guys, they just were taking really crap comics. And the only thing they did have good, they had signed artwork, which hmm. was relatively reasonably priced. Hmm. They had like a Mark Bagley, and it was a good print of Spider-Man signed by Mark Bagley for like 25 bucks. Right. That was good. But their comics, ridiculous. Yeah. So only Freedom, I only bought stuff from Freedom Comics, which, like I said, I didn't have to pay $5 to go to the Lebanon Halloween Comic Con to do. I could yeah. have just walked into their store. Um, okay. Well, I understand. Yeah. Eh, but fair. I don't want to be too down on them, even though it really <laughs> sounds like I'm ripping them new asshole, because I think this is a good idea. Right. I just yeah. don't. They need we need they need more space and more people and My maybe not cons. get the Lebanon High School Art Club as your artistic guest. Maybe get some people that have actually worked in the industry, even if it's like indie comics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, that and that was yeah, that that was one thing that was missing. I mean, I thought that this Brad Voth guy See, he, I didn't talk to him. He uh yeah, I was I was I got to him, he was like the mm -hmm. I don't know Second to last person I talked to, but I ended up talking to him for like a solid half hour. Um, now, apparently, when I was there, there were more, more maybe forty five minutes for like little indie comics, but yeah. nobody was there. Yes, well, <laughs> okay, so and that's yeah. I actually I think one of those would have been this HELOC comics or he yeah. I saw their table because I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, I <laughs> bought their last issues. Like they were sold out already by the time I got there. Really? Which well, at least like they did. Yeah, because when I got there, know, they Friday. were like not even there. Yeah. I mean, it was like, just be back soon. And I'm like, but it looked like they cleaned out house and took off. Yeah, right. I think they, yeah, like I said, I think I'm like, this doesn't look like be back soon. Sold out. This yeah. looks like somebody who stripped all the copper wiring out of a house and said, <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back next week. You know? It's, yeah. And I haven't read their stuff yet, but they, but that was, they were nice guys. I talked to them see, for a while. Yeah, they were gone by the time I got there. Yeah, and, and uh, I started reading, one of them had a comic that's called the Monsters, or Monster Wrestling League, which was pretty fun. I read like the first like four oh, pages no. while I was waiting for Candy to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and uh, but uh, it's, and it's like classic, you know, it's Wolfman versus Dracula, like wrestling. Like, actually, that's a pretty good idea. You know, I kind of like and, that. And it's, yeah, it's actually, it's it's got some pretty clever, you know, writing it's 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 kind of cute i guess i don't know but i'll tell you what if i was in the magic uh, the gathering though it was in oh yeah they had yeah a lot of magic stuff uh and then there was another one called wexler's follies which i haven't got into yet but it's uh i don't know i don't know i don't know what to call it but uh you know i picked up a couple comics um i talked to yeah i didn't realize there was there's a hobby store that c c y o n e oh I yeah i saw them that. i saw them too i don't know where like, they're at I don't, yeah they were on the back yeah, they that, well, and I talked. To, it was actually it's right across the street. I had no idea it was there. They from, don't sell comics from right the where the convention thing. Oh, was. really? Yeah, like there's a shopping. Oh, there's, center yeah, there. there is a little or shopping like center in there. Kind of thing. Okay. They and there's and he had like vintage board games. Oh wow, I and, didn't even uh, know that was there. Like a lot of figurines, and he had like like Warhammer stuff. Uh, yeah, and I talked. He was a, he was a cool. He seemed like a real cool guy. Like I, I'd I like did to check see them, but since sometime. I didn't, wasn't into games, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't stop. Yeah, and he had like a box of old comics, but he said we don't sell comics, you know. So, but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, but yeah, I had the same experience. I wasn't really going there looking for comics. I did bring my list, but <laughs> see, uh, I was going there looking for comics. But they, yeah, there's like one table in the middle, which I guess was I don't know that had boxes on top, boxes on the floor. That was it, freedom. Okay. That was Freedom Comics. But yeah, they did not have they didn't have anything like what I you know I most of what I buy. See, is like they indie did have stuff, they so. had because like I said I've been trying to reach the midpoint 
of 700 for Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing yeah. Spider-Man ran for 700 issues. I am really close to getting to 350, which is exactly halfway. Mm-hmm. And I am up to, after this Comic-Con, up to 330. Wow. Uh, yeah. Issues of Amazing Spider-Man. So I have 20 more issues to go. I was going to try to do it by the end of uh, summer, but instead I went and bought really expensive uh, Silver Age issues at these Comic-Cons that we went to, <laughs> Planet Con and Kansas City Comic-Con. So for like $100, I got four issues instead of like, you know, A bunch of 30 books. issues out of, uh, you know, uh, yeah. their cheap box. Right. Yeah, but uh, okay, so then I talked to this lady. Uh, her name is Jaybird Wells. I don't know if she was still there or not either. It's like if you were Where was it? going back toward, or, okay, when you first walk in, if you would have taken the left and gone to that side. Oh, there were all the magic guys were doing the tournaments? Okay, so yeah, they weren't doing that when I was there. Yeah, oh, that okay, was a big, so maybe, they were all lined yeah. up over there because they were going to uh, be doing, starting to do the tournament, so I okay. didn't even try to go over that way. Okay. So, I no, I didn't even so, go over and there. And they may have been gone. They may, yeah, I don't know, but this lady, she's an author. Because that's the first thing I got asked when I come in. Are you going to be playing magic? And I'm like, no. <laughs> right, because that was a big thing. I think that was the big draw to the That should have been, really. a, it should have been Lebanon... Halloween Magic the Gathering Con <laughs> featuring comic books. <laughs> right. Yeah, but actually, I think there were more gaming places than no there were shit, comic No shit, that was places. everywhere. Yeah. I, I mean, if, not just Magic either. I know, like, 12-sided dies and Dungeons yeah. and Dragons. I could have got and board games. There's that one table I know. on the right when you first walked in that had oh, yeah. a bunch of... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw that guy, too. Yeah, and they were out of Mountain Grove, I believe. I was really... really I, didn't, I didn't know that was there. There was a place there from uh, Cape Girardeau. Um but this lady, she's she's got this this. She actually has a pretty cool. It's I don't know, she's a real character. Uh, mm-hmm. She has she's got a book called The Tale Begins. It's a, it's sort of a mermaid, thing fantasy. Oh, thing. I get it. Uh, T A I L. Yes, <laughs> it is. It is T A I L. Very good. I get you. I her her website is worth looking at. I think. It's a homonym. It's a what the heck, but it's what, hyphen the hyphen H E C C. Because her mer people are not traditional mermaids. They're actually HECCs, which are human electric cave catfish. Um, and I haven't started reading. I did buy a book, copy of the book. I haven't started reading it yet. But if you go on her website, it's got some funny. It's she's got. There's like a little thing I where do you support the HECCs or do you not support them? I, I wish this was a video podcast. Yeah. Because <laughs> to see my face when you said. HCC, what HCCC stand for? Uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm more excited to, to, to read the book now that I've checked out her website and like, <laughs> found this stuff out. Uh, but she also sold soap, and she was like a cosplayer. She had sold pictures, like she would sign pictures for you. And stuff. Oh, okay. But, my, uh, my, my... I had a really interesting conversation with her. And, uh, yeah. and then I talked to Brad Voth, who's this artist who I think he, he said – you know, he's been doing art for years. He's never made it, you know, mm-hmm. into, like, mainstream comics. But I guess this year he's really going after it. He's, uh, I guess, trying to get into Valiant because they, they're, they like, relaunching their whole Oh, yeah, album. I heard that about Valiant. And uh, and Gary was now, there. See- do you remember Gary? He inked Todd's story. Yes, when we were doing the I do remember Gary. Gary is, like, what, Brad's good friend. They used to, like, I guess they lived up in Chicago or near Chicago. They And... Gary, that's I when do he was, remember Gary. Like Brad was the guy that was doing the drawings was, that Gary he was, was inking. Yeah, he inked Todd's, wasn't it? Yeah, the one that Juan drew. Right, he was inking it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I haven't I seen him that. for like three years, and because he was like sitting there against the wall. I was talking to Brad. I was like, "Oh yeah, we did this comic a few years ago." He's like, "Yeah, he was just telling me about that." Yeah, like, huh? and he's like, "Oh yeah, I yeah I remember because I worked on that too. I remember that. Yeah, that was um. So it was I don't know. They, I had a good time. My, I, I really yeah, enjoyed talking to all those people. My see, this was my experience. I'm yeah. looking through the Amazing Spider Man, and the guy next to me is telling me, "Oh man, I was lucky enough to get the first person appearance of Spider Man in the Iron Spider costume." <laughs> and I'm like, "What the fuck, dude? What the fuck?" <laughs> I Just need some context. Go away before I slap you. <laughs> I need I need context. Is that uh is that I've got that one. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a terrible <laughs> costume from a terrible storyline. <laughs> uh Peter but is Par- it collectible? Uh uh Peter Parker was part of the Avengers living in Stark Tower. He was technically Stark's protege. Yeah. And uh Tony Stark builds him a iron spider suit. Uh, okay. See, I should have just looked at him and go. 
I have the first appearance of Spider-Man in his black costume, plus the origin in Secret Wars number eight, plus the first appearance of Venom. Now shut the fuck up and go away. <laughs> go away, fan boy. Go away. Uh, no, 252, on, Secret Wars, Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number eight, and Amazing Spider-Man 299. Now let's be honest, <laughs> compared to some of the suits he had, the Iron Spider suit isn't all that horrible. The electro silver suit. Okay, what about? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about comparing it to the spider cycle? The, the armor, yeah. the armored one too. Was yeah. Like, yeah. So the Sonic suit, which he gave to Scarlet Spider, which actually Scarlet Spider then changed it into a really cool looking uh, costume. costume. So see, there's plenty. Okay. All right, boys, we're to wrap her up. Yes, yeah, yes, let's do it. Man. Real quick, let's Sorry. do our Marvel trivia questions. Okay. Who was Captain America's junior partner in World War Two? Bucky. Bucky. Bucky the hair. Bucky what O'Hare. is Bucky the O'Hare. vision? What? What is the vision? Is he a synthoid? Android? He's a synthoid. That's, <laughs> that's usually what they call him on this. I'm not sure what Wait a minute. Say. He's Thor and uh, <laughs> Tony Stark and Ultron's love child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and uh, Giles or whatever the Tony Jarvis. Stark. Uh, he's Jarvis, he's yeah. the Scarlet Witch's all night lover. Yeah, there you go. Which hero does the Scorpion hate? Spider-Man. But actually, he really hates J. Jonah Jameson. What town do the X-Men go to when they want to relax and have fun? Uh, Westchester. <laughs> Westchester. <laughs> wow. Where is Deathlock from? The future. Oh. Other than well, yeah, the which, original. De- which Deathlock, too? Yeah. There's two. Okay. Oh, here we go. Bucky, a synthoid android. Yeah. It can't be both. That what was the half, hell? Half right. Uh, Spider-Man, also... Salem Center, Massachusetts. Oh. Oh, I thought it was no Westchester's where the where, where the, the school, school is. is. So, yeah, yeah, you don't relax at school. And uh, I'm sure this is Kids. the '90s. Deathlock is from Detroit, Michigan. Oh, because oh. he's black. And also he and it was shitty. Destroyed the <laughs> exactly. whole city before he left. <laughs> this would be shitty. Because all black people come from Detroit. <laughs> if Beverly Hills Cop has taught us nothing. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, no, no. terrible. Terrible but oddly terrible. enough, I got to think about that. He wasn't a Beverly Hills cop. He was a Detroit cop, cop in Beverly, in Beverly oh, Hills. Wait. And, well, and also... D- Detroit <laughs> cop transplanted to Beverly Hills didn't it ring tr- as true. Why aren't there any black people in RoboCop? They're, uh, they're the chief. Yeah, there's the guy one the black guy. Is... There's one. <laughs> one black. Uh, yeah, none of the guy's gang is black. Oh none of the guys my. that work at OCP. Well, there's God. one. There's the one that laughs. Oh, that's right. The, the high-pitched laughing guy. Was the crow set in Detroit? I think so. Was it officially? I don't, yeah, I don't know. Ten Ten's black. I don't know if it was ever yep, said it was Detroit, was like, but it was probably based. Well, they on talk Detroit. about Lake Michigan catching on fire. I remember that. Okay, okay. there's there's two versions of this, and it, it you you brought up Detroit, you brought up RoboCop. Yeah, there's a gag, uh, you know, a, a fan made. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Where you know he that shoots the guy in the crotch. Yes, and then he goes around shooting everybody in the crotch. Right, which is fine. Then there's a second kind of where someone else does one where they all everyone starts coming out of the way and their dicks are hanging out, flopping, and he's just shooting dicks just flopping everywhere. I, I want to say I've like, never seen this video. <laughs> no, and I don't. I Nick, Nick has not tried funny. to show it to me. <laughs> and I'm glad because I'm sitting I here, don't want to see this video. Well, first it was funny. The first one was funny, and that's what I thought we were watching. Yeah. Where it's just like, you know, every time he goes up to a grimmel and you shoot something, ah! But then all of a sudden, all these dicks are hanging out. My son, my 14 year old, I'm like, whoa, 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 what is this? <laughs> my wife, like, minimize, what? minimize, damn it, it's froze up. My, my, my wife's like, what are you watching? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Like, oh my God, turn it off, turn it off. Dicks, <laughs> so many dicks. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's, see, we don't name episodes. The name of this episode is Dicks, so, so many, many Dicks. dicks. <laughs> Um, I have something to plug. Uh, oh, are we on our have... way out here? Yeah. Okay. We should so probably not follow that. That shouldn't follow dicks. So many dicks. Let's, the, I mean, you what do you got? Plug. plug. Oh yeah. <laughs> what do you got? I uh, published a book this week. Oh wow. Well, last week I guess. I I I. Uh, it's called Poems of Nature and Romance. Subtitle: Dicks. So many dicks. <laughs> Well, that's uh, nature and romance, if you ask me. It's a collection of poems that Todd wrote uh, with some illustrations from me and Juan. Oh, wow. And we're going to be, uh, there's a poetry reading this Thursday at the Funky Buffalo yes, for our local is. listeners. I, I had to hang the uh, promotional poster for that in the library. Yeah, the and we're hoping to like Because all I got kept telling was like, they're like, I'm like, oh, is, is it non-for-profit? No, they, they let us do it before. 
I'm like, that's not what I ask you. I ask you <laughs> if it's not for profit. We cannot hold anything that is for profit in the library in the public spaces. It's not for profit. They did it before. And I was like, that's all I needed to know. <laughs> I will fucking cut you. <laughs> and uh, then like I'm like, poets okay. Are like and so customers. then I, I have to signature it because then if it is for profit, it's my then ass. somebody comes and yells at me. Yeah. And the whole time I'm signing it, they're like, they let us do it before. And I'm like, that's fucking fine, okay? I just have to follow the procedure. <laughs> Lie to me. Wink, wink. This is non for profit, right? And then I wink, went out there wink. and I hung it up. It's in a place right. of predominance on the community bulletin board. Like it I just have to follow the procedure. As long as it doesn't say like $5 cover charge the, or whatever. The, the county and the state pay my paychecks. There's a whole process to everything I do, okay? Yeah. It is not like I work at my best friend's golf pro shop, okay? Yeah. <laughs> We're working on people, the comic shop, though. People will <laughs> sue me and the library if I do something wrong. But, okay. But okay. Just a little rant. I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. Be nice to your librarians and let them do their jobs. <laughs> and right. also tip your waitress. And tip your waitress, yes. yes. All right, well, is that a wrap? Are we done? That's it. Let's, let's get the hell out of here. All right. All right. Well, send all your complaints to contact at scramblebrainscast.com. Or you can go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash scramblebrainscast. You should like that. Do. That, that would be a smart thing to do is to like it. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, like it. That's, That's probably the only way you're ever going to see Ash versus the Evil Dead. Yeah, yeah, go there. I already posted it. And I'll post it on but you have to, you have to, you post it on You have to like it, though, before you can watch yeah, it. Yeah, like our page because we're providing you this magic. Yes. In your life. You need magic in your life, don't you? Yes. The don't magic that makes your dick bigger and gives you yeah, 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 so yeah, many yeah, dicks. Yeah. So many dicks. <laughs> Why are there so many dicks? <laughs> oh, well, we're also I at Twitter at Scramblecast. Love. If you weren't going to send those complaints, you can do that now. Yep. Uh, at, at Scramblecast on Twitter. Yep. Uh, that yep. doesn't get up. I should, probably should start updating that now that I have the high speed mm, internet. I can yeah. actually work on that. I think I've forgotten the password at this point, though. Okay, well, that's great. I can find it. Yeah, find it for me and I'll actually start trying to do something on that. Uh, we're also on Tumblr at scrambledbrainscast.tumblr.com. Uh, uh, I don't know. You do Is that is that good stuff? I should probably there? start updating that now that you have high speed internet. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, it's, I think what we're providing is we have plenty of sites for people to contact us, but we don't do shit with them. Nope. And YouTube. 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 Yeah, that's the big one. YouTube. We are thing. on the tube. Come on, guys. Get into it. Come on. Subscribe to that because we need that because we need a real name. <laughs> right. Because we in YouTube's infinite wisdom, they yeah, don't, don't give us a good name and expect us to get 100 subscribers. Yeah, don't make us a yeah, bastard child of the internet. Which is stupid. <laughs> I mean, like... If you're thinking about like you know that dude who did Fred or whatever the fuck, oh, God. he could have a title like you know YouTube channel five seven three dash pound sign uh, comma blah 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 and people would still find him. And not us, not us. Dollar sign, dollar sign. We nope. need. Oh, he just spelled ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Um, we need we need that. So if you could go subscribe and so we can get our hundred likes, so we can get a real yep. fucking page. That would be. I think even I, with my YouTube account, have a real page because it was I was grandfathered in. I have one video on there. One video. Yeah. Anyway. And that is YouTube.com slash Dick So Many Dicks. <laughs> it actually does involve a third leg. It, it, it is a scene from the, uh, what was the movie? Uh, Dracula, or no, um, <laughs> Bruce Lee fights back from the grave or oh, something well, like that. Oh, that was the Cheech and Chong the with E.T., the and, third and, testicle. And, uh, no, and it's <laughs> Bruce <laughs> Lee kicks Dracula in the face with a third leg from between his legs. Yep. So, it was the the most insane thing I've spoilers. ever seen. I had to capture the video. To, yeah, and, he had to get uh, a YouTube video. <laughs> and, and show it. It's... I should actually go look it up and post it on our Facebook it's page. Still the video. There. I'll post it on the new Scramble Brain. Yeah. Uh, but we're also YouTube, on, uh, if you, you know, you can't find any of that stuff, especially that YouTube. You can go to www.scramblebrainscast.com. Yep. Scramblebrainscast.com. They actually gave us that. So that would, be, really? that would well, be the place to go. I had to pay for that. And yeah. well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, is we yeah. They gave it to us because we paid them. Right. Well, you paid oh, them. No. I did. I'm poor. <laughs> And we don't get paid for this. So. It's true. Not yet. I'm reading a book. We're going to start making $200,000 a month. A book. I, fuck. <laughs> it, could you just, like, make my dreams come true? <laughs> if I could do this and get $200,000 a no, month. No, no. Wait. The uh, podcast is going to get $200,000. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to get most of that, right? 
You'll get a stipend. I'm the town. Most <laughs> is, uh, I wouldn't say most. It's a relative term. Yeah. One, 180? I got this. One, so far, I'm not impressed, but one, uh, who knows? One I may learn something. Is that, what are we talking a month here? Grand? I don't know if I can live. <laughs> I don't think I can live on less than 100000 a month. All right. Well, we'll talk. We'll talk. Because, <laughs> so, you know, you got to cover what you're making at the library. I, it's, <laughs> I'm making a lot of dough as a public servant. I mean, as you all know, people who work for the state, get paid mint oh yeah okay they're in mints is that what you're saying yeah kind of you get paid yeah. i get pretty good health. i don't have to pay for my health insurance which is really nice but that's about, yeah that's where you bank uh, anyway uh right. but you can also go to itunes from yeah. there and that that also almost is more important than than uh than the youtube Life because itself. you gotta like subscribe well you can't like subscribe yeah. uh and uh give us a review that would be the equivalent of liking yeah give us some stars and and words stars and yep. words All right. like even like five stars i love dicks so many dicks yeah that would be uh, matt clemens all the, all the... <laughs> yeah quote <laughs> yeah let's quote well i just I mean, got a new ringtone luscious, but <laughs> <laughs> plus if there's any ladies that want to write that that'd be kind of sexy <laughs> well, any ladies that might have been listening and just, uh, <laughs> yeah. dropped off. Oh, yeah. We, so, yes, we lost that half a percentile yeah. of female listeners that that aren't like married or fucking us or yeah, they listen. What <laughs> people who are married no. and no, actually, my wife doesn't listen. So. No way. Yeah, yeah. no way. <laughs> so anyway, luckily the three other girls I'm fucking do. So oh, hey, yeah. girls. Oh. No, I'm kidding. I don't do that. Just I don't two. have the money or time to do that. All right. Anyway, goodbye, Internet. Till next time, my friends. Be excellent to each other.